In summary, while India AI Mission is making significant strides by democratizing access to compute, data, and talent across our nations, I believe that the hype around building a generic LLM is misplaced. In my view, our smartest bet is to focus on vertical, data-driven AI solutions that directly address our unique challenges, whether in healthcare, financials, governance, or language technology, rather than chasing the high-cost dream of generic LLM. Welcome back to the Forge POV, where we cut through the noise to deliver insights that truly matter for startup founders, tech leaders, entrepreneurs. I'm Subrata Kar. Today, we are addressing a hotly debated topic, India and large language models, hype, reality, and the smarter bet. You have likely heard the question, should India build its own LLM? For some, it is about national pride a symbol of our technological independence. For others, it's a costly distraction from addressing our real local challenges. But here's the thing. It isn't simple yes and no. The real question is, what is India's smartest AI investment strategy? Let's get straight to the point. The debate usually kicks off with, should India build its own LLM? While many see that, as a badge of honor, we need to ask a deeper question. It is not whether we can or should build an LLM. It is about whether that is the best use of our resources. What is the smartest AI strategy for us? Should we pursue one site fits model or should we leverage our unique strength to solve real world problems? That is the key. Let's cut the chase and bust some common myth. Myth number one, every major tech nation must build a massive LLM to stay competitive. Reality, countries like Germany, Japan, and Israel aren't busy producing generic LLMs. They are using AI to drive industry-specific innovation that addresses local challenges. We need to focus on our unique strength instead of chasing a model that doesn't fit our needs. Myth number two, LLMs are built by lone wolf companies. Reality, no successful LLM stand alone. OpenAI benefits from Microsoft, DeepMind from Google, Anthropic, and even Amazon's perplexity rely on deep, resource-rich ecosystems. And China's DeepSeek operates within a state-backed framework. Expecting single Indian startup to accomplish this without broad-based collaboration is simply unrealistic. Myth number three, India's linguistic diversity demands generic, homegrown LLM. Reality, our 22 plus official languages and countless dialects are challenging. But that doesn't mean we need one monolithic model. Instead, we can build specialized language models or SLMs tailored for Indic languages. Innovators like Sarvam AI are already showing that a focused domain specific approach works far better and is much more cost effective. Now let's talk about hard facts, cost factor. Training a state-of-the-art generic LLM can cost billions. For example, GPT-4 training reportedly exceeded $100 million in compute resources alone. Even if we pool resources, a competitive model might cost anywhere between $500 to $1 billion. In contrast, developing vertical domain-specific AI solutions, our specialized language models, typically cost between one to $50 million. That's a significant difference. Infrastructure bottleneck. You see, the AI arm race is a fundamentally a chip war. With NVIDIA's dominance over AI accelerators and semiconductor supply chain controlled by US and China, we are still far away from achieving self-sufficiency. Even though 
initiatives like $3 billion semiconductor fab proposal show more promise. Talent allocation. We have world-class AI talent here in India. The critical question is, should our experts focus on replicating generic LLM or should they channel their efforts into developing vertical domain-specific solutions that address our unique needs in healthcare, finance, governance, and beyond. Now let's take a moment to acknowledge impressive strides that we are making under India AI mission. With a budget of 10,000 crores, roughly $1.25 billion, our national mission is positioning India as a global AI leader. Now here is what we're doing and what we are really aiming for, India AI Application Development Initiative. You see, our goal here is to drive real socio-economic growth by rolling out AI solutions that make everyday life far better for everyone. Safe and trust AI. It is all about trust. We are setting up strong ethical standards and building local AI tools so that our technology is not only powerful, but also responsible. India AI Innovation Center. This is where the magic happens. We are developing our own advanced models and domain-specific AI that lay the foundation for truly homegrown intelligence. India AI Future Skills. By expanding AI education and setting up data and AI labs in Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities, we are growing a diverse talent pool from every corner of India. India AI Dataset Platform. Simply put, we are ensuring that researchers and startups have easy access to high-quality, non-personal datasets, the kind of fuel that drives breakthrough innovation. India AI Startup Financing. And finally, we are streamlining the funding to fast-track transformative AI projects, helping deep tech startups turn pioneering ideas into scalable solutions. Together, these initiatives don't just make AI accessible, they build a strong foundation for developing advanced indigenous LLM and vertical AI solutions tailored to our unique needs. That said, while these efforts create essential infrastructure and democratize compute, data, and skills nationwide, they mainly address scale and accessibility. To build world-class LLM or even highly effective vertical AI models, we need additional targeted investments in advanced research and domain-specific fine-tuning that truly capture our unique linguistic and socio-economic landscape. So where is our smarter bet? Instead of chasing the high-risk, high-cost dream of generic LLM, our true opportunity lie in vertical AI solutions that deliver immediate population at scale impact. Language models for Bharat. We need efficient tailored SLM optimized for our 22 plus languages and diverse dialects. Innovators like Sarvam AI and Kisan AI are already leading the way, delivering real value at a fraction of the cost. Healthcare and biomedicine. In our in healthcare sector, specialized AI for diagnostics, drug discovery, and telemedicine can revolutionize care, especially in undeserved rural regions, finance and compliance. With our digital payment system processing staggering volumes like 10 billion UPI transaction in a single month, domain-specific AI for fraud detection and regulatory compliance can position us global leader in financial innovations. Governance and public service. Tailored AI solution can streamline everything from Aadhaar operations to digital tax filing, enhancing public service delivery without resorting to one size fits all model. Now, I know 
some might argue that we must develop our own LLM for reasons like data sovereignty, national security, or even to export AI products. Global LLM may restrict access to India-specific data sets, and for sensitive applications, we might need system built entirely within our own borders. However, in those cases, the best strategy is a consortium-led collaborative approach. We must build on our robust foundation under India AI mission while channeling our resources into targeted high impact solution that address our unique challenges. So here is how I see our path forward for India's AI future should be built on four key pillars. Number one, build an AI policy that prioritizes strategic investments. We need to shift from LLM for the sake of LLM to funding high impact domain specific AI applications that drive economic growth and enhance public welfare. Number two, strengthen our AI compute infrastructure. It's crucial to accelerate semiconductor production, expand our cloud AI infrastructure, and secure domestic access to critical AI accelerators. Number three, form strategic AI alliance. We should partner with leading AI ecosystems in the EU, Japan, and Middle East. Initiatives like BRIC AI Consortium or a G20 AI fund can help us pull resources for regional innovation. Number four, incentivize AI startups to solve India-specific problems. We need targeted government and VC funding towards startup developing transformative AI applications in sectors like healthcare, education, and governance, steering clear of generic AI race. In summary, while India AI mission is making significant strides by democratizing access to compute, data, and talent across our nations, I believe that the hype around building a generic LLM is misplaced. In my view, our smartest bet is to focus on vertical, data-driven AI solutions that directly address our unique challenges, whether in healthcare, financials, governance, or language technology. Rather than chasing the high-cost dream of generic LLM, this approach leveraged the robust infrastructure being built under India AI while driving targeted innovation where it truly matters. That's my personal point of view. I would love to hear what you think. Do you believe we should pivot from generic LLM chase and focus on specialized high impact AI? Or do you see still strong case for a homegrown LLM despite the hurdles? Share your thoughts using the hashtag ForgePOV for a deeper drive into these discussions. Be sure to check out my full article titled India and LLM, the hype, the reality, and the smarter bet in the latest edition of the Spark Digest newsletter. And don't forget to subscribe for more data-backed, no-nonsense insights on the trends shaping our future. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Forge POV. I am Subrata Kar. Until next time, keep questioning, keep innovating, keep challenging the status quo. Bye for now.